Hey guys, Louie here. It is a Tuesday night, about 5 p.m. Um, some retailers, uh, for, you know, at least a couple that I've seen, are gouging on the 2020 Eagles. Of course, you, you, you don't have to buy a 2020 Eagle, um, and you don't have to buy any Silver Eagle. You can buy any kind of silver you want. When silver is going up, it'll go up as well. Um, but if you're holding out for Silver Eagles, I think there is some, some price gouging on the Silver Eagles. And, uh, um, you know, that, that is reprehensible. But again, I think they're trying, to, they're trying to make back some losses for the stuff they sold before they could change their premiums. Because there were tubes and tubes of silver available um, for uh, Silver Eagles for 350 bucks a tube. Um, if you caught it right after the spot drop, but before they adjusted their premium. So they might be trying to make that money back. But no, I do not think they should price gouge on Silver Eagles. Um, so I am not endorsing that. And uh, just driving home, I wanted to give my perspective on um, why bullion premiums and American Silver Eagle, Eagle premiums are so high. And I think it might surprise you. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give my perspective and then tell you why I think um, it is not an indicator that silver is necessarily going to go back up. Okay, so I've got a, a double contrarian point of view here. Um, so as you know, <clears throat> the, uh, the retailers all around the world have been increasing their premiums on top of these uh, $12 spot prices we have. And of course, uh, you know those are those are driven by the spot market and the paper market more substantially than they are the physical market. So uh, it's not really surprising that we had a decoupling. And um, I don't think it's because they're trying to hurt us, and I don't think it's because they're trying to monopolize the market. Um, uh, okay, it's uh, from a business perspective. What they're trying to do, guys, is stay in business. All right, just think about it. If you, you know, if you had a business and uh, your cost of raw materials, you had a warehouse full of raw materials, and then the cost dropped in half of those raw materials, and it didn't drop in half, but 50%, whatever. Um, you know, you would do everything you could to avoid taking enormous losses, and the last thing you would do, if you didn't have to, would be to drop the cost of your product all the way down to the new cost of goods and services. Okay? So, what's happened to them is, I believe, they got stuck uh, with a lot of inventory uh, that was purchased at uh, somewhat higher prices, maybe some much prior highs prices, because, you know, I mean, we were all preparing for higher prices, um, and uh, then the, blocks, the Black Swan happened. So they, in my opinion, unless they're hedged in the paper markets, and maybe they are, um, but that's probably expensive to, uh, you know, to, to do hedges. Um, but, uh, or maybe it's not, I really don't know uh, what it takes to short you know, a uh, uh, 100,000 ounces of silver, you know, uh, I'm really not sure what those calls uh, would uh, would cost, or actually they'd be puts. So, um, but I'm saying that I'm sure that whatever inventory they had, um, they were not anxious to mark that to market, to bring it down to the current spot price on paper. And because of that, they they have required to keep premiums higher or take massive losses. <clears throat> now, I do think, like uh, like many of us, um, they think prices are going to go back up, right? Um, and uh, and they also so you know this will be a temporary thing. And I believe that uh, for those videos that are accusing the retailers, uh, and I'm not a retailer. Okay? I have no affiliation with any retailer um, of any kind and uh, they don't even they don't even know who I am all right you know so um, but uh, the the motivation for uh, the sellout of American Silver Eagles they're averaging down guys 
So I imagine uh, the Eagles are sold at a dollar or dollar fifty over spot, and when spot dropped to thirteen dollars or twelve or fourteen or whatever on the way down, they started picking up inventory, raw material, if you would, to drop their basis, and they bought a ton of it because otherwise they would be. Um, they'd be marking to market their losses and uh, I'm not sure who gets in trouble and who gets fired and who loses lines of credit if they start losing money and who closes. Um, so my particular perspective is uh, this was necessary <clears throat> but I don't think that you can call you can you can blame this decoupling on anything other than a rapid drop in spot prices so rapid that it caught them blindsided because had we ground lower you know dollar by dollar month by month as we've been known to do this would have all calibrated and uh, we would have all gotten used to it but but i think it's unreasonable for us to expect that retailers that are in the business for making money um, if spot drops, uh, they should just, you know, go back to their 50 cent, dollar cent, dollar, you know, over spot deals or their 250, you know, three dollars over spot for Eagles deals. Um, I just think it would, uh, it'd be, it'd be a real big hit for them. And then potentially because they're so fragile, you know, they're so at, at risk. And again, I don't know how they hedge their risk, but I do see, you know, um, these places going out of business from time to time. And I suspect that's uh, either because of government overregulation and taxation or because they started turning a loss or in one specific example because they were unable to get uh, cheap gold and silver from the Amazon rainforest. Um, but um, I digress. So uh, I don't blame them and I don't necessarily think it means that this is the reason that prices will go back up, although I do think prices will go up, go back up, but not for this reason. So, you know, be careful, you know, setting your opinion in stone. Sometimes it changes. So that's uh, my only opinion right now. And uh, if I could buy silver at $12, um, I would think real hard about doing it. I'm still kind of shy of the paper markets, but SLV would be a pretty good bet, probably. <clears throat> so, but I don't, I really don't know. Uh, all I know is to hold tight and don't sell your stack for $12. Okay, guys, that's all I have. Just wanted to give my perspective on uh, these premiums and what's going on. I'll talk at y'all later. Bye.